but I would be glad to know the showers are working. <laughs> <laughs> and the toilets are flushing. I had a delightful reception, warm and welcome, meet and greet. As I said, the toilet, I was brought to my room. The toilets were great, the showers were great. <laughs> I lay on the bed and I said, This is blissful. And then I found I was in the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> I was removed from my room. But as they say in Ireland, being in the wrong room could happen to a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Our first class was orientation and introduction to something called TBY. It sounded very painful, but <laughs> Sherry and Johnson conducted the class. And when we finished, I was in a blissful state of relaxation and I floated back to my room, undressed, breathing deeply into my damp tear. I did my bear and the owl. I did my yin and yang. I did my embrace the gown. And then I gently climbed onto my bed. I closed my eyes, breathing into my dainty end. This was state. And something penetrated my brain. <laughs> A red light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, am I having a heart attack? <laughs> no, no, my heart, my heart is, is still there, it's breathing. It's in my brain. No, I did my exercise. <laughs> And there was a green light. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew I wasn't dead. It was emanating from a spot in a bowl just above my head. <laughs> so the red light was flashing. The green light was eerie. And the red flashing seemed to be coming from an eye bulging in the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me. <laughs> now I have to get this. I, and it happened every four seconds. <laughs> and I lay there counting it. <laughs> and then the green light turned into a tunnel with something white at the end of it. Then it dawned on me what it might be. Security. <laughs> it was a good job that Daniel had told me at dinner time about AI. For anybody who don't, doesn't know, that's artificial in seven <laughs> Artificial in intelligence. <laughs> And what Daniel said was his friend worked in IT. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, that's information technology. And he told Daniel that all the security police in China had been issued with glasses, which could access people on computers <laughs> and mobile phones and randomly scan people to see if they were security risks. <laughs> <laughs> a security risk. If the 
Chinese could do such a thing, I'm very sure the Irish government had that in hand. <laughs> <laughs> but I was not a threat to security. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'd only been taken in for 24 hours and discharged without, without being whatever, <laughs> prosecuted. Um, and they won't be coming for me, I said. I've never been in trouble. But then I lay there and I breathed into my hands again. I said, that's not the issue. The issue is that I am lying here <laughs> without my teeth, <laughs> with my mouth open, in full view of every security police man in the world. <laughs>